Hello children, you're welcome to this segment of the program, The Classroom in Your Home. It is mathematics time and that means it is time to have some fun. I am Uncle Agbaje. Today in mathematics, we'll move away from what we have been learning on nets of 3D shapes. We will now move to the measurement of length. And that should tell you that today's class will be a practical class and not a calculation class. Before we begin, we will review the correction to the previous homework, which was quite easy. You were asked to draw the net of a cone. Now, what does that net look like? A cone is like a pyramid. There is a, a circle at the bottom, so the net will contain a circle. And the body is round, but it's not going to be a rectangle this time. It's going to be a triangle because all pyramids have triangle. So one triangle and one circle, you have the net of a cone. I believe this is what you drew. If this is it, then you deserve to be celebrated and I give you a chair. Now, take your time, cut this out and fold them into a cone by yourself because I will be moving on to the next topic. I trust you to do that on your own. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to do three things as usual. You should be able to get the idea of how long a centimeter is and how long a meter is. When somebody talks about one centimeter, how long should your imagination go? When someone talks about a meter, what should your imagination tell you? You should be able to do that at the end of this lesson. You should also be able to select the appropriate units for measurement of objects. Okay, okay if you want to measure uh, the length of an object, do you measure it in meters? Is that the best unit or in centimeters? And finally, you should be able to estimate the length of objects in centimeters and meters. Now let's go right into it. The key word for today is length. And you've come across it before when you do your um, area. Uh, the question is, what exactly is the length? The length is how long something is. Let's look at it from this angle. There are three pencils belonging to Farida, Umoru, and Agatha. Farida's pencil is long, quite all right. But Umoru's pencil is longer than Farida's own, and Agatha's pencil, of course, is the longest of them all. Now, length, as I have said earlier, is how long something is. The longer it is, the more the length. Length can also be called some other names, like height, like distance. Okay, so when you come across length, height, distance, breadth, width, all these mean the same thing. It's just how long something is. Now, it is also the distance between two points. Like I've said, length can also be called distance. So whether length or breadth or height or width is just a name for your, move, your distance from one point to the other. As you can see in this diagram, there is a house, there is one tree and then there is another tree. And between A and C, the distance is written there as 5M. And that 5M means 5 meters. Between these three, where the man with the bicycle is and the house, that is 4M, which means 4 meter. So this one you not call it, you can call it distance, you can call it length, you can call it, you know, you don't call it height because height generally we use it for vertical distances and then length and breadth we use it for horizontal distances. Okay, so now moving on. Now when we have short length, lengths that are not too long for us to capture, we use a ruler to measure it. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this type of ruler. You buy it at the corner store and use it in your classroom to rule lines and measure things. Okay, so you measure short length with ruler. And what do I mean by short length? Something that your hand can span, nothing longer than your hand, or perhaps nothing longer than your room. Okay, because even the distance from your house to your school is length. Even the distance from your from Lagos State to your village is length. So you cannot measure that one with ruler. Okay. So We can also use a tape rule to measure short distances. I'm sure you've seen uh, this one with the tailor when you went to get measured for your 
um, you know, Christmas wear and all that. And you've seen this with artisans, you know, bricklayers, plumbers, they use this kind of tape rule to measure length. So these are instruments that you use to measure length. Now we talk about length as how long something is. So you know that the longer one will get the higher number, just like we did with temperature, the smaller length you get a lower number. But what is the unit of length? Length is usually measured in centimeters and meters as you must have guessed. Now, centimeters and meters are not the only units for measuring length. We have so many of them. Millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, decameter, hectometer, kilometer, there are so many. But for this level, we'll just focus on the centimeter and the meter on the metric scale. And that is the scale that is, well, you know, used by the uh, standard system international, SI international. The standard scale that most people use these days. Let's just put it like that. But it's also measured in uh, feet and inches, which is another unit of measurement that also is used in some uh, areas of life and not so much in some other areas of life. For instance, you use centimeters and meters when you're measuring things like length of a book or length of a, a pen. We use feet and inches when you're measuring the height of a human being and so on like that. But the one we'll be focusing on, like I have said, is the centimeter and meters. Now, on your ruler, usually you will find the centimeter and the inch is present. If you look to one side of your ruler, you will see CM, which means centimeter. On the other side, you will see another set of numbers and you will see IN, or probably they will write it in full, inches. So anytime you want to measure in centimeters, always make sure that you use the centimeter part so that you don't just place your ruler anyhow. I'll show it to you in the next couple of slides. Now, our first major question now is, how long exactly is one centimeter? I mean, if somebody comes to you and tells you, oh, our new teacher is very, very tall. In fact, he is 10 centimeters tall. What should you, what should come to your mind? Are you going to be thinking of somebody as tall as the ceiling or somebody as tall as the door? You know, how long exactly is one centimeter? Because if you know how long one centimeter is, then you can guess how much 10 centimeters will be. It is very important that we have an idea of what one centimeter is all about. So once somebody comes to tell you somebody is 10 centimeters tall, you can say, oh, that means it's as, so, it's as tall as this thing, or a person cannot be 10 centimeters tall. Can somebody be 10 centimeters tall? We should answer that question at the end of the lesson. But let's see just how long one centimeter is. Now, bottle covers, you know, table water, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, all these bottle, uh, bottle covers, they are about one centimeter in height. That is, from the bottom to the top, if you place it like this, about one centimeter. And you can see that I've placed my ruler at the bottom here, and the top here is around one centimeter. So if you want to have an idea of how long one centimeter is, take a bottle cover, either a Pepsi bottle, or a Coca-Cola bottle, or any table water, remove the cover like this, remove the small, uh, the small part below, the rest on top like this. Uh -huh. That's about one centimeters in height. Now, can a man be 10 centimeters tall? It's the same thing as saying that man is as tall as if I arrange 10 bottle covers. <laughs> Obviously, a man will be a lot taller than that. So, if somebody comes there and tells you that uh, our teacher is 10 centimeters tall, just tell him you did not measure well. Go and measure again because a human being will be definitely taller than 10 centimeters unless the person has a very very bad condition so let's move on so one centimeter that's about the height of a, a bottle cover now your pens the kind of this is one of the most com common pens that you have uh, in use among students it's about 14 centimeters in length from the top to the bottom so you see that I've brought my ruler and notice how I place my rulers to measure the first line is always corresponding to zero. I didn't put the end of the ruler beside the end of the ruler. I put the first line beside the end to start. So I'm starting from here. And you see that the tip is around 14 centimeters, telling you that your pen that you use in writing is about 14 centimeters tall. So when you say that a man is 10 centimeters tall, you are saying that your pen is taller than a man. And like I said, that is not even possible. All right, so now you are beginning to get the idea of what centimeter is all about. Let's see more example. Now your notebook. 
your notebook is about 20 centimeters long and 15 centimeters wide. That is 20 centimeters this way from the top to the bottom and then from the left to right about 15 centimeters. So obviously a man cannot be shorter than a notebook. Let's see what else we have here. Now 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. That is by the time you arrange about 100 bottle covers on top of each other then you will have one meter. So keep that at the back of your mind. Note it down. 100 centimeter is the same as one meter because it's going to come up a lot in our subsequent lessons. All right. Now, distances that are longer than 100 centimeters are usually measured in meters. That is anything longer than 100 centimeters we usually we measure them in meters. We don't bother using centimeters anymore because they're already more than a meter. It's more than 100 centimeters. That means it is more than one meter. So we use meters to measure such length. For example, let's see. Distances that you measure in meters are usually distances that you can walk. Maybe if we want to walk from the back of the classroom to the front of the classroom, that one is going to be measured in meters. So the distances that you can walk with your leg, measure in meters. Or you want to walk from the bathroom to the room or to the parlor, you measure that in meters. Distances that you can run or you can walk, like this boy that wants to ride a bicycle from underneath the tree back home, that distance is best measured in meters. Centimeters are for smaller distances, objects that you can hold in your hands. But meters for distances that you can walk with your leg. But how, uh, how long exactly is one meter? Let's see. On your way to school or wherever it is you go, if you take two steps at your age, two steps, when you take two steps, you would have walked about one meter. So two steps, one meter. Another two steps, one meter. That's about uh, four steps, two meters. So now that should give you a way of measuring the distances that you walk every day. Do you want to try measuring the distance or estimating? Because it's not going to be accurate. But at least you can try to take a guess of the distance from the kitchen back to your room. Just count steps. Two steps, one meter. Two steps, one meter. That's going to be part of the assignment that I'm going to give you. And I have good life magic juice for those who do that assignment. Now, if you take two steps, you would have taken about one meter. Now... Adult human beings, most adult human beings are usually taller than one meter. I mean, even the shortest person, shortest persons would be around one meter and extra 60 centimeter. Okay, very tall people will be around one meter, 90 centimeter. But adult human beings will be taller than one meter, which is 100 centimeter. So if somebody comes to you and tells you, my teacher is very tall. In fact, he's so tall, he is 90 centimeters. Tell him, then your teacher is a short, very, very, very short man. Because an adult male, a man, will be taller than one meter. Okay? So now you have that most human, most adult human beings are taller than one meter. They're about one meter, 60 centimeter and above. The door, well, every normal door, which I assume the door of your house is a normal door, measures six feet. And six feet is roughly two meters. So when you look at the height of the door, just see I'm looking at two meters already. Okay, so the door, two meters. Now, during this pandemic, the distance that you must observe between you and the next person is also two meters and that means you can't stand very close to somebody like this because you risk contra contracting the COVID-19 virus. So what you want to do is that you want to create a distance of two meters and that means to put the distance of a door and when I say a door I don't mean from the left to right I mean from top to bottom and you have two meters in between you so always keep a distance of two meters, the distance of about the height of a door between you and the next person, and you, you stand a better chance of not contracting the COVID-19 virus, social distancing, that's what we call it. Now, let's talk about moving distance. This is a snail. Snails are very slow animals. I mean, you can't even take them to run the Olympics. They will not finish on time. Now, snail moves 
at a speed of five centimeter in one minute. I mean, in one minute, you would have gone to the backyard, you'd have fetched a bucket of water and you'd be back in the room. But a snail would not even have moved more than five centimeter in one minute. That's how slow they can be. Okay, you want to go somewhere with a snail, you have to give the snail a head start before you leave the house. Otherwise, you'll just be stuck on a spot. So snails move at a speed of five centimeter in one minute. Just five centimeter, I mean five bottle covers in one minute. Okay. How about you? If you run very fast for 15 seconds, you would have run for 100 meters, which is actually 10,000 centimeters. And so you cannot go running with a snail. You would have gone, come back, gone, come back several times, and the snail will still be on the same spot. So if you run very fast for 15 seconds, how many meters have you gone? You would have gone for around 100 meters for your age. But do you know this man? That's the man they call lightning bolt. That's Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is the fastest man in the world. In 2009, Usain Bolt was able to set a record of running 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. It was very, very fast. Okay, so but that should give you an idea of how many dis how much distance people cover when they run. When you run very fast for 15 seconds, that's about 100 um, meters. For 30 seconds, that's about 200 meters. Okay. So let's see how we can apply all the information that Uncle Gwaja has been loading us with. Let me summarize them for you. Short distances, objects that you can hold in your hands. Measure them in centimeters. Distances that you can walk with your leg, measure them in meters. Now, by the time you take two steps, you would have walked for one meter. And if you run very fast for 15 seconds, you would have run for 100 meters. Now, an adult human being is always going to be taller than one meter, around one meter, 60 centimeter extra, and then above that. So if somebody says he, he has a very tall teacher, you must be thinking maybe the teacher is 1 meter 70, 1 meter 80 centimeter, 1 meter 90 centimeter uh, or the like. And social distancing between you and the next person, you must keep 6 feet and that is 2 meters which is the height of your door. So be careful of going to crowded places. Put this information at the back of your mind. I've summarized them neatly for you as we go into this activity. This is a screw, you know, the screw that you use to hold things together, electronics. How long do you think it is? Think. You have 10 seconds and you select one of these answers. You have 20 centimeters, 25 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 1 meter. Remember that 1 centimeter is the height of one bottle cover. So just like how many bottle covers? will be equal to this screw in length. You have selected your answer by now. My answer is three centimeter. Is that what you got? Then good job you. Are you ready for the next one? All right, I'm ready as well. This is a horse. Now, how tall do you think the horse is from the leg to the head? I mean, a horse, is it shorter than a human being? Is it taller than a human being? You know, use that as your, um, your benchmark. Something you relate it to as you select your answer. 90 centimeters, 2 meters, 25 centimeters, 30 centimeters. How tall is a horse from the leg to the head? Have you selected your answer? Well, it can't be 30 centimeters. I mean, 30 centimeters is just the height of your white ruler, the one you use in the classroom. A horse is a lot taller than that. If it is not 30, it will not be 25 centimeters. It cannot be 90 centimeters because even a human being is taller than 90 centimeters and a horse is even taller than a human being. So it has to be 2 meters. And as you can see, that is the correct answer. That was easy, right? Now, a snail. In 2 minutes, how far can a snail go? I mentioned the other time how far a snail can go in one minute. So in two minutes, a snail can go for, did I hear you say 10 centimeter? 10 centimeter, it is. That's very good of you. Now, it is time for your homework. As I have said earlier, you are going to imagine that two steps is one meter. I want you to estimate the length and breadth of your room. 
Walk along the length of the room, how many steps? Walk along the breadth, how many steps? Write your answer and forward to a dedicated phone line and you can be sure I'll put you in consideration for a pack of good life magic juice. Now we have come to the end of today's mathematics lesson. I had fun. I hope you did as well. It's time to go and meet Uncle Popo. Remember to give him your 100% attention. Till I come your way in the next lesson, remain wonderful mathematicians.